What is going on everyone? It is Mike and welcome back to Tech 24-7 TV. So it's been about a week since Bridge started shipping the 10.2 inch keyboard for the 10.2 inch iPad, a seventh generation, and I've been using it for about a week. And I really like this keyboard for that device. Now it does have, you know, it's very much premium in the sense that it's all machined aluminum. It's got three levels of backlit keys has those function keys on the top. It doesn't come with the back cover, strangely enough, like the iPad Pro, but it does have, again, a, a very good typing experience, and that's why people would you know, pay this $130 for this keyboard, because of the typing experience and the look and feel. Now, if you are not familiar with Bridge, they make a number of different wireless keyboards for the iPad, the Surface, I think even the Galaxy Tab, if I'm not mistaken, and this is kind of just another uh, part of their lineup. Now, this keyboard was not provided by Bridge. I did buy this with my own money, so this is, video is not sponsored, uh, just to be clear on that. But this keyboard, it, if you're not familiar with Bridge, your iPad uh, goes into these hinges and it just kind of slips in, making it this almost like MacBook-like and just kind of adjust the fit very nicely and you are off to the races. So from the uh, you know look and feel of it, none of the ports are obviously uh, obstructed. The power button or the sleep wake button's still here, the volume button that's not changed. Uh, on the Bridge Pro itself, there is a micro USB port to charge the battery, which is rated to last 12 months, uh, depending on like, your usage, whether or not you have the keyboard always lit and how much you use it on, on a per day basis. This size is highly attractive to me at least, based on you know using the 12.9 inch iPad Pro every day, it's kind of nice to have a little bit smaller of a laptop, plus I have a 15 inch MacBook back there somewhere, but this is nice, I, I do like it. This has all of the same kind of classic bridge characteristics. It's all machined aluminum, it has a one year battery life, one year warranty as well. The There are a number of viewing angles that you can set this up in from you know basically flat, 180 degrees to uh, all the way closed. So any, you know, a limited number of viewing angles. It does have Bluetooth 4.0, so it's not, uh, it's not a different version of Bluetooth in case you're wondering about that. All in all, I would say that this is a very premium keyboard. There's no doubt about that given the price of $130. I would say that if you are in the market for a keyboard, this is probably gonna be one of the nicer options. You know, you have these function keys that are up at the top, everywhere from a uh, home button lock, raise and lower the keyboard brightness because it is an adjustable backlit keyboard. Screen brightness, uh, bring up the on-screen keyboard, the media controls, volume controls, battery, Bluetooth, and power. Outside of that, you have a caps lock button that will go ahead and give you a bright visual indication that the caps lock button is enabled. There also is a dedicated Siri button here located in the bottom left-hand corner of the keypad, as well as the, the inverse or upside down T arrow keys in the bottom right-hand side. So not a whole lot has changed from the 12.9 inch iPad Pro. Now I've only been using this for about a week and I think the typing experience is gonna be very good, uh, especially considering the price, I think it should be 130 bucks. But uh, the keyboard is, you know, the keys have a very nice soft rubber texture to them. They are backlit. Uh, let's, let's try something here. Here, turn that off. So now we just have a very faint light here. There you go. All right, awesome. So I, I think that again, from having the adjustable keys, sorry, the, the adjustable backlit keys, the number of different function keys at the top, good typing experience, keys aren't too mushy, right? Let's, let's take a listen to them. They sound, they sound good and they, they, they do feel good. Uh, they kind of strangely, they do feel different than the, or they do sound different than the 12.9 inch Bridge Pro it has a good feel to it, right? And this has, I think, all the the features I would expect from a premium keyboard. These hinges are really nice. I don't, they don't feel, so these don't feel, uh, let's take a little break here. So these don't feel flimsy, and these being the 12.9 inch uh, hinges on the uh, bridge keyboard, these don't feel flimsy, but they're not quite as easy to, to turn. And because of the way that the bezels are shaped on the iPad Pro, uh, these need to be thinner. These are not texturized, except for just a very, very small part. Now, actually, now that I look at it, these are just barely texturized, where on this 10.2 inch iPad, the entire rubber sleeve is texturized, probably giving it more friction, uh, making it uh, harder for it to slip out. So here are the things that I really like about this keyboard. One, the 
quality of it is extremely high. And I would say that out of all the Bluetooth keyboards that I've seen for the iPad, iPad Pro, the bridge makes kind of some of the nicest, again, but you're gonna pay for that. It's $130. You have a choice between three different colors which match your iPad. Now, uh, at 130 bucks, it does have, I think, all the features that I would expect. It does have the function keys, which I like. It does have a dedicated caps lock button that illuminates. It does have an upside down arrow key. What I don't like is, one, the cost. At $130, it's not really made for everybody. Uh, it's, you know, one third of the iPad, and this could only be used with this iPad because these hinges are machined to be a certain size. And unlike the Smart Folio keyboard from Apple, you can use that with the 9.7 inch iPad. You can use that with the 10.2 inch iPad, uh, this one, the 10.5 inch iPad Air, even the 10.5 inch iPad Pro from 2017. So there's re more reusability there in terms of how that keyboard can be used depending on which, you know, how you upgrade. If you buy this keyboard, you have to use it with this iPad. So these are really my initial observations after using the keyboard for the past week. But let me know in the comments below if you have any questions or comments on the Bridge keyboard for the 10.2 inch iPad. I am Mike and I will talk to you in the next one. This. Oh. Wow, what the hell was that? What is going on everyone? It is Mike and welcome back to Tech 24 7 TV. Now this is the 10.2 inch, <laughs> oh my God, I did it again.